Hello, MU Virtual, and welcome to yoga. My name is Ricky, and I'm going to take you through today's practice. So let's start sitting in a nice, comfortable position. Close your eyes and start taking full, deep breaths. Now, as you sit down, root your sit bones into the ground. Pull the navel in towards the spine and reach the crown of your head up towards the sky, pulling shoulders down and creating length from top of head all the way down to bottom tip of tailbone. Soften your eyes. Starting to let go of your day. Letting go of anything that happened before you arrived on your mat. And anything that needs to happen after you leave your mat. Focusing solely on the present moment. Being right here, right now. Breathing. Now soften your eyes. Soften your cheeks. Soften your jaw. And breathe full, deep, expansive breath. Let's start to take some small movements. We'll work our way into seated cow, so keep the eyes closed. Place your hands on your knees. Inhale, push the palms into the knees, chest and belly come forward. Exhale, pull belly in, pull the palms onto the knees and round the upper back, tuck your chin. Inhale, come on forward. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, chest and belly draw forward. Exhale, pull on the knees, round the upper back, tuck the chin. Now let's start to make these movements bigger. Inhale, take a circle, going in counterclockwise direction, chest comes forward. Pulling on the knees, rounding as you go backwards. Keep breathing, keep moving in this counterclockwise direction. Really feeling into hips and feeling into shoulders. Let's move the other way. Follow your breath and find that clockwise direction. Maybe starting to notice the hips loosening up as the circles get bigger and more expansive. Inhale, pause and center. Maybe opening the eyes, reach the arms up. Interlace the fingers together, flip the palms towards the sky, push the palms upward, and then pull the shoulder blades down. Low bellies drawing in, low ribs are pulling in. Breathe into your shoulders. Inhale, push the palms up. Exhale, pull shoulders down. Feel that movement. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, shoulders down. One more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull down. Now start to make circles. Rock the body in a circular direction. Rock the palms in a circular direction. Maybe starting small and then maybe making these circles bigger. Keep up with that breath. Now switch directions. Pausing in center, inhale, lift the palms. Exhale, bring the palms in front of the body. Now inhale, push the palms away from the chest. Exhale, pull the shoulders back into your body. Inhale, push palms forward. Exhale, pull shoulders back. Keep your core engaged one more time. Inhale, push forward. Exhale, pull back. Release the hands. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, bring the fingertips down onto the floor, tent the fingertips, walk them as far forward as you can, and then on your exhale, lower the chest, lower the forehead. Now really push the fingertips into the mat, breathe into upper back and shoulders. Relax the face and breathe deeply.
Inhale, walk the hands up. Now switch the placement of your feet. Place the other foot on top. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist. Bring right palm to left knee. Left fingertips tent behind you. Push the fingertips into the ground. Sit up tall. And then squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. Pulling belly in and twisting from the hips. Now you might leave those left fingertips behind you, or if you're feeling open today, reach the left hand around to grab onto right side waistband, or you might even grab onto right side thigh. Now inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, lean towards the right. Lean right ear towards right shoulder, and breathe into left neck and shoulder. Relax your eyes, and breathe deeply. Inhale, reach up, let that go. Exhale, other side. Starting with fingertips tenting behind you, pushing left palm into right knee, squeezing shoulder blades, pulling belly inward. And then option to take that right hand around, grabbing left side waistband, or maybe grabbing onto the thigh, and then lean towards the left. Left ear towards left shoulder. Nice, full, deep breathing. And release back to center. Let's come on to all fours. We'll work our way through cat cow. So starting with toes tucked under today, make sure all 10 toes, including the pinky, are tucked under. Palms are right underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lower the belly. Chest comes forward. Exhale, push the ground, round the upper back. Let the head hang. Inhale, send the belly down. Exhale, push and round. Keep breathing, keep moving. Close your eyes, start tapping in. Tap into all the areas of your body that feel stiff. And start directing breath into those areas. And then maybe making your cat cow a little bit more expansive, a little bigger. You might tent the fingertips as you lean the hips back, breathing into upper back. Or maybe as belly draws down, you might look over one shoulder or the other. So start to play around with movement. You might take this to a child's pose. You might take this to an upward dog. Keep breathing, keep feeling. Move with intuition. And get into all of those sticky spots. Now pausing back in tabletop, switch your fingertips so that all 10 fingers are pointing towards the outer edges of your mat. The inner wrists are pointing towards each other. And let's start to take circles. Pick a direction and move in circles. Now this might be small or it might be big. Really feel into your wrists. And switch. And releasing back to center, bring the feet together, bring the knees together. We're moving into toe sit. So sending the glutes back on top of the heels. And again, making sure all 10 toes are tucked under. So you might grab that pinky toe and just send it underneath there. Now, if this is super intense, putting all your weight on your heels, you can shift your weight forward. You can actually even place a prop, a, a block or a pillow in between the glutes and the heels to take off pressure. Now sit down and breathe into the bottom of your feet. Let's work into wrist stretches. Take the right palm forward, fingertips facing down. Inhale, grab the pinky finger. Exhale, push the palm forward as you pull pinky finger back towards elbow. Grab the ring finger, take a breath. Exhale, push palm, pull finger towards elbow. Inhale, grab middle finger. Exhale, push and pull. Really spread your fingers as you push the palm forward. Inhale, grab pointer. Exhale, push palm, spread fingers, pull finger back towards elbow. Inhale, grab the thumb. Pull the thumb away from the wrist and then pull the thumb back as the wrist pushes forward. Let that go, plant the palms, untuck the toes and give the tops of the feet a pad. Sitting back down, re-tucking, making sure pinky toes drawn under. Extend the left hand, fingertips facing down. Inhale, grab pinky finger. Exhale, push palm, pull finger towards elbow. Grab ring finger, take a breath. 
Exhale, push and pull. Inhale, grab the middle finger. Exhale, palm forward, finger pulls back. Spread the fingers. Inhale, grab pointer. Exhale, push and pull. Inhale, grab the thumb. Now pull the thumb away from the wrist and then push palm forward, send thumb back towards elbow. Let it go, plant the palms, pad the feet. Now this time we'll sit back down on the heels with the toes untucked. Extend the fingers, palms facing towards each other, spread the fingers, lower the thumb into the palm and then wrap all four fingers around the thumb. Take a breath. Exhale, send the knuckles down towards the ground, stretch your side wrist, relax the shoulders. Inhale, release. Exhale, knuckles down. Inhale, let that go, spread the fingers. This time, all eight fingers fold in and then the thumbs come over top of the fingers. Take a breath. Exhale, turn the knuckles towards each other, stretch the back of your wrist. Inhale, relax. Exhale, stretch. Place the palms beside you. We've worked into the bottoms of our feet, so let's stretch the top of our feet. As you place the fingertips down, push them in, sit up tall, pull belly inward. Take an inhale. Exhale, lift the knees. Now you might just lift your knees a little bit. Maybe that's enough. You might get the knees quite high, depending on how the tops of your feet are feeling. Now just relax into this, breathe into the ankles, breathe into the top of your feet. Exhale, let that down. Take a breath. One more time, lift the knees. And release, let it go. Plant the palms back into tabletop position. Retuck the toes under, spread the fingers, stack the shoulders over the wrists. Engage your core, so squeeze that belly. Now step the left foot to the back of the mat. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. We're now in high plank. Push the palms, squeeze the core. Relax the neck. Come into your deep breath. Now step the left foot forward. Keep the knee about one inch off the floor. Step the right foot forward. Push the palms. Squeeze your belly. Relax your face. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. Step the left foot back. We're in high plank. Core is engaged. Thighs, bum, belly, relaxed neck. Step the right foot forward. Knees about an inch off the floor. Step the left foot forward. Push the palms down. Pull the belly in. Take a nice full, huge, big breath in. Exhale, send the hips towards the sky. And then walk the hands back towards the feet. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, relax down towards the mat. Grab onto opposite elbows. Slightly bend the knees and then widen your feet so they're about hip width distance apart. Now as the tailbone tucks up, pull the elbows down. Relax the neck here. Breathe. Release the elbows. Look forward very slowly, planting your palms, walking the hands to the top of the mat. Take your time and move into high planks. Spread the fingers. Stack those shoulders. Squeeze the core. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, down dog, send the hips back. Take a huge breath in. Exhale, open your mouth. Now start to pedal your feet. Lift the heel of one foot as you push the opposite heel down towards the floor. And then switch. Keeping neck and face relaxed. And breathing into your calves. Release the calves, relax the calves. Deep, full breathing. Now from here, join the big toes together. Really push the palms down. Squeeze the armpits forward. Upper back is nice and open. As the big toes come together, lift the heels. Inhale. Exhale. Send the heels towards the right. Keep the right heel lifted and lower the left heel. Breathing into left side body. So feel that stretch from the armpit down to the hip. Inhale, come on back to center, heels raise. Exhale, other side. 
Left heel stays lifted, right heel pushes down towards the left, feeling into right side body. Come back to center. Take an inhale in. Exhale, walk the hands to the back of the mat. Take your time, plant your palms as you walk all the way back. Relax the neck. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Huge breath, rise up, reach the arms up. Exhale, palms to heart. Let's move through sun salutations. Let's warm up here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Place the palms, slowly walk them forward into high plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower the hips. Keep the toes tucked under. Find modified up dog. Push the palms, chest is forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Exhale, down dog. Look between the palms, walk step, float forward. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Huge breath, stand up, reach the arms up. Exhale, palms to chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms, walking, stepping, hopping. Find that plank. Spread the fingers, push those palms down, and then lower the hips. Modified up dog. Chest forward, hips down. Exhale, down dog. Huge breath. Walk the hands to the back of the mat. Inhale halfway. Exhale fold. Deep breath, stand up. And out to the heart. Keep moving, inhale. Exhale fold. Walk the hands, take your time. Plant the palms, work your way up. Spread the fingers. Exhale, lower hips, modified up dog. Down dog. Look to the front of the mat, walk step, hop forward. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Huge breath, rise up, reach the arms. Exhale, palms to heart, keep going, inhale. Exhale, fold. Walking, stepping, hopping, move into plank. Take a huge breath. Exhale, this time lower chaturanga, lower all the way to your belly. Release the toes, walk the hands off the mat. Tent the fingertips, cobra push-ups. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, dip the left shoulder down towards the mat, relax your neck. Inhale, rise up, chest up. Exhale, right shoulder down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, left. Inhale, up you come. Exhale, right. One more time, each side move with your breath. Relax your back, especially low back. Release to center. Bring the palms by your side. Palms will face down towards the floor and fingertips towards the feet. We're moving into boat pose. Starting with feet on the floor, inhale, push the belly down, lift the chest, reach the fingers. Inhale, belly pushes down, relax your low back. Exhale, reach the fingers. Inhale, belly down. Exhale, reach. And release, make a pillow with your palms, lower the forehead, and then rock your hips from side to side. Let's do that again. This time interlace the fingers together and we'll lift the feet off the floor. Knuckles might be into low back or they might extend down towards tailbone. Squeeze shoulder blades. Inhale, push belly down. Exhale, rise up, chest, feet. Inhale, belly's pushing down. Exhale, squeeze the palms, spread your toes. Inhale, belly down. Exhale, squeeze. And release, come on down, plant the palms, tuck the toes under. Now lift your knees off the mat, engage the legs, take a breath. Exhale, push up, high plank. Down dog. 
Walk the hands to the back of the mat. Take your time. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Huge breath, rise up, reach the arms. Exhale to the chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Now this time, walk the hands forward into downward dog. Keep your hips high, heels pushing down, fingers spreading. Take a huge breath into upper back. Exhale, pull belly inward. Open the shoulder blades by squeezing the armpits forward. Now breathe here. Keep the right foot down. Inhale, lift the left toes, spread the toes, and point them towards the sky. Push your palms down. Make sure the armpits stay level so that left armpit doesn't pop up. Relax the shoulders. And then stepping through, find low lunge. Lower the back knee, untuck the back toes. Let's take a few movements here. Inhale, sink the hips forward, low lunge. Exhale, pull the hips back, nomad pose, toes stay down. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, back. Feel the hips, feel the hip flexors. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. One more time, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, come on back. This time lift the left toes. We're finding half splits here. Now you might need to readjust that left heel, spread the toes, inhale, chest comes up. Exhale, push the right hip forward. So get those hip bones level and then send the belly down towards left thigh. Relaxing the neck and breathing into the back of left leg. Inhale, come on forward into low lunge. Bring the hands to the inside of left leg. Push the palms down. Bring the chest forward and sink the hips. Now really connect to breath here. Soften the hips with deep, full breathing. Softening the eyes and the jaw. Now let's move into lounge lunge. Place the right palm to the right corner of the mat. The left hand wraps around to grab the left shin. As you pull the knee in towards the body, lower the right hip down towards the floor, really pulling left knee in towards body. And feeling into right side outer hip. Keep up with that breath. Inhale, roll back to centered. We'll move into lizard. Palms come down, wiggle the left foot over towards the left. Now the toes will point out and the heel points in. Push the palms down, lower your hips. Now this might be as far as you go. If you feel like you have more room, lift your left big toe off the floor and feel the left knee roll outward. Again, this might be your place. Option to lower down to forearms. Keeping shoulders relaxed and breathing into whatever variation you've chosen. Now we have one more option. If you feel like you're ready to progress, bend the right knee, send the right heel towards the bum. Root the right hand down and reach the left hand back, grabbing on to the outer edge or the pinky toe side of that right foot, kicking the foot into the hand and working into the chest. Are you breathing? Are your shoulders relaxed? And release, let the foot go softly if you have it. Coming back to center, we're moving into pigeon. Wiggle the left foot all the way over to the right side of your mat. Now traditional pigeon, the left shin will be parallel with the front of your mat, but a lot of us are not able to do that. We would rather have the hips down on the floor than the left leg parallel. So you might pull the left heel towards the right hip. You might even throw some support underneath your glute, or you could simply bend that right leg, bringing yourself to a 90-90 angle. So you get your hips down in a way that feels good. Now this is a three-part pigeon. 
So take a nice deep breath in, turn your chest towards your knee. As you exhale, lower down onto forearms, aiming the belly towards the thigh and the chest towards your knee. Now pull the ground towards you and then let yourself get heavy over that left thigh. Relaxing neck, relaxing shoulders. Coming into breath. The deeper you breathe, the easier it will be for your body to unwind. Inhale, lift the chest, walk the hands over, and then start aiming yourself towards the middle of your shin and calf. As you exhale, lowering down, belly first, chest coming towards the center of the bottom of left leg. Now notice how the stretch has changed. Notice what shifted and how it feels in your leg. Keep up with that breath. Inhale, lift up. We've got one more. Aiming towards the foot this time. So some of us might be able to fully turn so our chest comes towards our foot. Some of us won't, and that's okay. And some of us also have the foot close to the body. Now aiming your chest towards your foot and then lowering down, framing that front foot with both arms. And letting yourself soften and lower to a place that you can breathe deeply. Relax your face, especially your jaw. Now that might mean parting the teeth slightly so the jaw can relax. And release, come on up. Now if you don't have the right knee bent, go ahead and bend that now. So bring the right knee to a 90 degree angle. Take the left foot and bring it to the top left corner or as close to the left corner as you can. Keep the big toe off the mat. The pinky toe will be down. We're moving into sleeping pigeon. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, pull belly in, shift weight forward, and then twist so that the left shoulder comes inside the left knee. Now you might use your hand to make a pillow. You might be able to lay all the way down. You might even wrap the right arm behind the back, grabbing your waistband or grabbing your thigh. And then get nice and heavy and deep into breath. Keep the neck soft. So find a placement for your head that promotes a relaxed neck. And release, take it nice and slow. Lots of deep openings in the hips. We want to move slowly. From here, come on to hands and knees. From hands and knees, come into plank. And then you choose how you get to down dog. This might mean chaturanga up dog, or it might simply mean pushing the hips up and back into down dog. Breathing as you move. Huge inhale in. Deep sigh out. Now this time keeping the left foot grounded. Inhale, the right toes come up towards the sky. Spread the toes and reach the right foot up. Push your palms as that right toe reaches towards the sky. Now level out your armpits. Don't let the right side pop up. Step through, find low lunge. Lower the back knee, untuck the back toes. And we'll take some movements. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. One more time, inhale, come on forward. Now as you come back, lift the toes, half splits. Maybe wiggling that right foot forward, leveling out the hips, so this time left hip is coming forward. Inhale, push the fingertips down, lift the chest. Exhale, belly towards thigh. Relax neck, relax shoulders. Focus on your breath. Breathing into the back of right leg. Oh, oh, oh. 
Inhale forward, bring the hands to the inside of right leg. Moving into low lunge, send the hips down as the chest comes forward, really pushing the palms into the floor and softening shoulder blades. Are you breathing your deepest, fullest breath? And release, we're moving into lizard. Wiggle the right foot over to the right side of the mat. Now the big toe points out, the heel points in. See how this feels. If you have the room to lift the big toe, letting the knee send outward. Or maybe you have the room to lower down to forearms. Let the hips draw down and breathe deep. Option to reach back and grab that back foot, bending the left knee, grabbing the pinky toe side, kicking foot into hand. And release, let's come back to center. Wiggle the right foot back so the foot's in line with the knee. We're moving into lounge lunge. Left palm to left corner of the mat. Right hand grabs the right shin. And then we roll that left hip down towards the floor, really pulling the knee in towards the body and feeling into left side hip. Feeling that deep, full breath. Let's come back to center and we'll make our way into our three-part pigeon. Wiggle the right foot over to the left. And then you find the pigeon position that feels right for your body and that gets your hips down towards the floor. Now turn towards your thigh. Turn towards your knee. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower the belly, lower the chest, and bring the arms on either side of that leg. Push the palms down and let yourself soften. Soften into breath. Fully and deeply breathing. It's not what you say to me. No, it's just the way that you say it to me. And release, walk the hands to the middle of your leg, aiming towards the shin. Take a deep breath. Exhale, come on down. Now stay focused on the present moment, unwinding your hips, relaxing your body, finding that breath. Release, walk the hands up. We're aiming towards the foot now. Take a breath. Exhale, come on down. Frame the foot with the arms. Relax the shoulders. And release, shift back onto your bum. And if the back knee's not bent, go ahead, make that 90 degree angle. Send the right foot towards the top right corner of the mat. Baby toe is down, big toe is lifted. Inhale, reach right arm up. Exhale, pull belly and shift weight forward and then twist so that the right shoulder comes inside the right leg. Maybe making that pillow with your elbow, maybe laying all the way down. And maybe, maybe that left hand comes behind the back, tucking into your waistband or grabbing your thigh. Now keep the neck relaxed. Breathe deep. Unwind the body with deep, full breath. And release, take your time, unwind your body, sit up. And then from here, join the soles of the feet together. We're coming into Baddha Konasana or butterfly pose. 
Now sit up nice and tall. Take a moment to just flap the legs from side to side. Let's traction out our thigh. Place the left palm beside the body. Right hand grabs the right thigh. We're using the right hand to slide the thigh, to slide the femur bone away from the hip. Take a deep breath, sit tall. Exhale, use the right hand, slide the thigh away from the body and roll the shoulder in the opposite direction, really pulling that belly inward, relaxing the neck. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, other side. Suck the belly in and send the shoulder in the opposite direction. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, fold. Relax the neck. Really draw the belly in, free up low back. Release, walk the hands up. We'll lay down on our back. We'll take a final twist before we close down into Shavasana. Now as you lay down, tuck the tailbone up towards the sky. So think about belly in and tailbone tilting up. Get that low back nice and flat on the floor. And then pull the knees into the chest. On your next exhale, send both knees towards the left. Now option one is two knee twisting, simply stacking the knees, reaching the right arm out. Option two, to go a little deeper, you can wrap the right leg around the left, coming into eagle bind. Placing the left palm on the knees, take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw belly in and push right shoulder down. Breathing into this twist. Feeling into outer edges of hip. Inhale, back through to center, unwind. Exhale, pull knees to chest, and then send the knees towards the right. Extend the left arm. And then if you bound the legs on the other side, go ahead and do that again on this side. Place the right palm to the knees, take a breath. Exhale, pull belly in, push left shoulder towards mat. and release, unwind. Let's take one final pose before we relax here. Come on into happy baby. Soles of the feet up towards the sky. Arms come through the inner lines. Now you might grab the ankles or you might grab the outer edges of the feet. Keeping tailbone flat on the floor, shoulders down, and just gently giving the feet a tug, getting those knees towards the armpits and maybe deepening the stretch by pushing the elbows into the inner lines of the legs. Relaxed face, deep breath. Release very slowly and mindfully, let the feet go, and then make your way down onto your back. We're finding our way into Shavasana, our final resting posture. So lay down flat on your back. Extend the legs long. Legs will be wide like your mat. Palms come down by your side. Flip the palms up towards the sky. Take a huge inhale. Open your mouth loudly. Exhale. Inhale again. And then let go. Find your way sinking into your mat into deep relaxation. I'm a wreck, but 
I want to be free. Isn't that the goal? Free from stress. Free from burdens. Finding that balance in life. Take a deep breath into that. Open your mouth, sigh the air out. And then start bringing attention back into your body with little movements. Wiggle fingers and toes. Move that into ankles and wrists, the head. And then when you're ready, pull the knees into the chest. Give yourself a huge, loving hug. Rolling over into the fetal position. Keep your neck nice and soft as you come on up to a seat. Take one palm to the center of your chest. Place the other palm on top of that. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Pull the shoulders down away from the spine. Join the palms. Bow the head, give yourself gratitude, love, and appreciation. My name is Ricky. Thank you so much for being here with me today on MU Virtual. You can find all of the teachers through Instagram, through the MU Virtual page. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me. You can find me on there, Ricky May Yoga. Thank you so much for being here with me. Namaste. Namaste.